Hey guys, it's Carrie with Southern Grace Great Danes. I'm here with one of our girls, Rory, and today let's talk about our whelping kit must-haves. Okay, before we get started, if you guys would um, subscribe and like, we'd really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and check out our website, all under Southern Grace Great Danes. Okay, so the big day is finally, um, you know, coming, coming at you. Uh, your girl is getting ready to uh, give birth, and you want to make sure that you are prepared so you can take the best care of her um, and the puppies when she starts delivering. So I'm just gonna real quickly go over the things that are my um, musts, things that I always have on hand when one of our girls is gonna deliver. And um, there's a lot, so I'll try to go through it really quickly. Um, but ev everything that I mention can either be found on Amazon or um, Revival Animal Health or at your local Walmart. So I'll put the links to everything that I use in the description of this video so you guys can go get them yourself uh, quickly um, without having to do much running around and trying to find the products. So one of the first things that is a must for me is Oral Cow Plus. This is from Breeder's Edge and <laughs> Rory's helping. And this can be found on Revival Animal Health. Um, and we give this during labor. And this helps with contractions, keeps them strong, keeps them productive. This is one thing that is a must for me. Next thing I like to keep on hand, it is also from Breeder's Edge. It's called Nature Mate. And it's a colostrum supplement. In case any of your puppies are born, you know, kind of weak. Um, you don't have a lot of pep to them. This is great to pep them up, to really get them going. Um, I, I always have a tube of this, and, and this will last you, um, but this is great. And this can be found on Revival as well. Um, and also, it can be found on Amazon. This is Doc Roy's Healthy Bones. It's a calcium supplement. This I like to give... Um, I like to give the Oral Cal, Oral Cal Plus, like I said, during labor. It absorbs into their system really quickly. I like to give this um, after labor, after all the puppies are here, up until the time the puppies are weaned to keep their calcium levels up. Calcium during delivery and through weaning is so important. So this can be found on um, Revival as well. And they have a different size bottles, you know, depending on what size dog you have. I like to get the largest one because we have Great Danes. This is um, some oxytocin and syringes. Now, this we have to get from our vet, which is one thing um, why I said in you know the very first video I ever did to have a great relationship with your vet. It makes a world of difference when they trust you. When they know you know what you're doing. Um, not a lot of vets give this out, but if you build that relationship, you're going to have a better chance. We keep this on hand just in case, just in case we know that um, there's more pups in there, but she seems to have stalled. There's something going on. This this will help in a pinch. Um, I say this is a must, and this bottle will last you forever. But talk to your vet. This is something you would get from them. I always like to have latex gloves on hand. Um, it is a it is a messy business with whelping puppies. So these are good. Um, not so much. It doesn't really gross me out getting things on my hands. But it's, it's better for the female. Sometimes you have to go up in there and feather her. If you think a puppy's stuck um, to help get the pup out. So it's, it's healthier for her to have a gloved hand so you're not getting any germs. Um, in her vulva, up in her birth canal, you know, that we wouldn't want to do that. So these are just some 
gloves got from Walmart get them at any local pharmacy baby wipes <laughs> I always keep up there like I said it is a messy business and you don't want to be running to the bathroom every five minutes because that's really going to disturb your female you know you want to keep her calm keep it a nice calm atmosphere so if you can just have something on hand to, to clean yourself up so you're not having to run in and out all the time it's gonna it's gonna benefit her as much as it is you having clean hands yarn now i use yarn for actually puppy identification so you know a lot of times all the you know you'll have may have a litter where you're only getting two colors or you may get a litter of all the same color and you want to be able to identify the puppies so when they're born each puppy gets the individual color yarn i like to use yarn some people use whelping collars i like this because one of these lasts a long time and of course you can easily um change it when the collars get dirty and as the puppy grows and that way if someone picks you know green collar puppy you know that they're getting the same puppy they picked out at birth that is going to be the puppy they go home with that's really helpful like if you have a litter of all blues or if you have a litter of all fawns um and we make a little yarn collar for them as, as soon as they're born it's not sucker Sometimes you, um, a puppy may have some fluid, um, so you might need to sling them, and then you might need to suction. So this is anything you'd find at any pharmacy or, or Walmart or um, that you just find in the baby aisle. Pad and paper. So you can record um, the time that the puppy was born, the color, the collar color you gave it, um, and you can record also the weight. So we have a digital scale that we bought off of Amazon. Um, and this is great when the puppy's born, weigh it, record it. And that way you can track, especially in those first couple days, you want to make sure that your puppies are gaining um, and that they're good and strong. So um, recording when they're born is a must for us. I always like to have paper towels on hand. <laughs> a heat lamp. You're going to want a heat lamp. Um, this is something you can buy at your local... Um, Walmart even carries them. But your hardware store, they should have these. Your farm and feed store, they should have these. Heat lamp. Got to keep those puppies warm. It is literally a, a matter of life and death. Puppies got to stay warm. Heat lamp. Need to have one of those. Whelping pad. Whelping pads are great. They absorb moisture and they come with backing to where, sorry, it doesn't come through. There are several, several, several different kinds, sizes, brands on Amazon. We have about 10 different kinds. You can never have enough whelping pads. They're great. Um, and they're great all the way through the whole time you're going to have the puppies, the whole eight weeks. Um, so invest in some whelping pads, get some quality ones, you won't regret it. And you'll use them for years to come. Machine washable, going to save your floors, going to save you a lot of mess. Also like to have on hand, especially for, for when they're delivering, these huge hospital bed disposable pads. Yes, I do love the whelping pads, but there's just a lot of a lot of fluid and a lot of stuff coming out when they're actually giving birth. So be able to lay these down on top of the whelping pad so you can easily change these out, put a new one down. Your whelping pad's going to last a little longer because, you know, delivery may go for 12, 15 hours. So these are great. You can get these off Amazon. They come in these huge bulk packs. They're great to have on hand. Lots of washcloths and towels. Um, Walmart, you can buy a pack of, like, 20 for like five bucks they're great um old towels washcloths to have on hand of course make sure they're clean a lot of times you know you may have a pup that comes out that you know really needs you to work on it so these are great if you really really have to vigorously rub a pup sling a pup to bring it back um to get it going these are great to have on hand they're cheap and they're gonna last you forever So, 
a lot of times with first time moms, they may not know what to do on the first couple of puppies. Their, their instinct hasn't kicked in yet. And so you may have to cut those umbilical cords for them until they get the hang of it. A lot of people um, buy hemostats. I just use scissors, make sure they're clean, make sure they're sterile. Um, but I just use scissors. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some, if you have it, I couldn't find any actually for this time, but it's dental floss, but you want the non-wax dental floss. If it has wax on it, it's gonna slide right off, right off. But so in that case, we're actually just gonna use some yarn is what we'll use if we have to do it. Um, you'll tie that umbilical cord off like an inch from the belly, real, real, real tight. And then you're gonna cut, not on the puppy side, on the opposite side of the twine. You'll cut with your sterile scissors. Um, but like I said, and the twine will work, the yarn, uh, some yarn will work if you can't find any unwaxed um, dental floss. Another thing that we love is the Breeder's Edge Oxy Mama. We start giving this the day of delivery throughout weaning um, and it's just going to help with their milk production, going to help them recover and bounce back. Um, they have different sizes that they come in. They come in chews. They come in, in, in hard pills. So you can find this on Revival and I believe you can find it on Amazon as well, but they're just going to buy it from Revival. Um, so we just get it directly from Revival. But this is great to have on hand. Um, it did, really does well with milk production with our females, and, and we love this stuff. And then I always keep this on hand as well. We'll just get this from our local pharmacy. This is if I have to cut umbilical cords. I'll dab a little of this on there after I tie off and do the cut. Um, like I said, a bottle's going to last you forever, but any local pharmacy will have this. So there are um, all my must-haves for when I have a girl that is going to deliver. We actually have two girls um, coming up. Actually, three girls. We just confirmed another one today. So we have three litters coming up. So I have tons of supplies on hand, but I will be buying lots more to make sure that my girls have everything that they need to have um, a great delivery, a safe delivery, and the puppies have the best chance um, that they can to have a strong entrance into this world. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you guys wanna, wanna drop me a comment of what you have in your whelping kit um, or any questions, always drop me a, me a comment or you can message me on Facebook and love to discuss it with you, share ideas, go back and forth. Um, knowledge is power. So not everybody knows everything. If you think there's something I forgot, shoot me a message. I'd love to hear about it. Um, but once again, thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we hope you guys have a, a very safe, healthy, happy delivery and enjoy those mamas and pups. Thanks. <laughs>